One, two, three. A boy fell. It was a regular, loud recess, and a boy fell. Should I go? Should I ask him if he's okay? Hey, are you okay? Do I look okay? Oh, what's your name? Diego, yours? Fair. Next thing I knew, I had just met my best friend. And that is how my life changed in three seconds. And all it took was a little bit of bravery. And today, I'll show you how to make the most out of it and learn to enjoy life a little bit more. In this situation, I was only eight years old and I unconsciously applied the method of three seconds of bravery. And the truth is, many of us already have. The concept of three seconds of bravery refers to the idea that often, in order to make a significant change, we must summon a brief moment of courage and take action. This idea was introduced to me when I was at a camp. It was my first year as an instructor, and I was not feeling the best. I felt like a new girl, and I was really shy with the instructors in there already times before. We were having a sharing time at the bonfire, when suddenly, without realizing, my life had changed. An instructor that I admire a lot started to give a speech of how she once saw in a movie someone told the main character to just have 20 seconds of insane courage. But for her, 20 seconds was too much. In 20 seconds, she already overthought all the possible consequences and outcomes of what would happen if she took the action. So, she decided to change it to three seconds of bravery. In three seconds, she would take whatever she's been thinking of and just do it. I personally related to the part about overthinking. So, later that night, I decided to be brave and approach the instructors. I counted to three and went. One, two, three. Wow, today was really fun, right? And to my surprise, they were really nice. We started to chat for hours and without realizing it, we'd become really close friends. I was having a great time, and that is when I realized the power that this had and how it could change everything. One of the most important decisions in my life was also made by using this technique. Ever since I was little, I always knew I wanted to be a doctor, but I was too afraid to not be capable to make it. So, I was afraid that I would not be able to do it. But when I turned 15, I decided to challenge myself, and I joined the paramedic program at my local hospital. I was afraid of people laughing at me or thinking I was dumber than the others, so I didn't know if I would actually attend. Okay, the first day is here. I already have my equipment, my uniform. I need to go. But what if I don't? I don't want people to laugh at me. I'll be brave, just for today. One, two, three. Okay, mom, let's go. When I arrived, I was very anxious. But then, a girl of the older generations approached me. Hi, my name's Fernanda. I remember my first day. What's your name? Farah. Yours? Mariana. Welcome. <laughs> I'm here if you ever need anything. I would love to be your mentor. That's great. Thank you. Next thing I knew, I had made a bunch of friends with whom I shared the same passions with. However, without those three seconds, I probably would have doubted myself and never even tried to apply to medical school. The part, ever since I was little, all my life I thought I had no talents. No, like, I did. I mean, I was decent at sports and I had really good grades. But I thought I had no special talents at all. Ever since I can remember, my dad told me he never wanted me to become a musician. And I really never thought about it either. Playing an instrument never told me. This all changed when I was coming back from a ski trip. My uncle turned the radio on and switched all the mic was playing. I've heard this song, this song a thousand times before, but this time something changed. I started to hear the guitar play placed differently from the other instruments, and honestly, I fell in love with it. 
When I came back from the ski trip, I decided to tell my dad about this, but I was very nervous. What if he hates me? No, he loves me. But what if he grounds me? After overthinking for a few days, I decided to finally tell him. Dad, I want to be like Slash. What? Yeah, the returns from Guns N' Roses. No, I know who he is. But why would you want to be a 50-year-old man with an afro? This was my dad's way of telling me that he accepted it and that he supported me. So, I started taking guitar lessons. And after getting frustrated for not understanding it, it started to flow for me. And that's when my love for music started. The concept of three seconds of bravery is closely related to the butterfly effect. This is because the butterfly effect acknowledges the power a small change has to create a major action just by being, just by having courage for a brief moment. This is a great technique to do if you want to access it quickly, but I will give you a technique that's best for long-term things. It's called a decision tree. A decision tree will help you visualize the problem and the possible outcome. To make a decision tree, you'll start by doing, putting the problem you're facing at the top. Then you will put all the short-term and long-term consequences, as well as the ripple effects, down. As I told you, I want to study medicine, but I don't know where I want to study. So, I made a decision tree based on which place I want to study. I consider all the things like the tuition, the location, the payments, and the housing. This will help me visualize more what would be better for me. That is the decision tree. <laughs> so, the next time you are doubting yourself and you're not, not knowing what to do, you should take three seconds of bravery and do it. This can make you find new friends or passions or even discover new talents. So be brave for three seconds. Thank you.